بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ہوپ یو آل آر ڈوئنگ فائن اینڈ اسٹینگ سیف ویلکم ٹو یور سائنس کلاس ان ٹو ڈیز کلاس وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ موومنٹ ان پلانٹس دس از آن یور لرنرس بک پیج نمبر تھرٹی سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ اوکے وی آل نو دیٹ ہو وٹ آر دا لیونگ تھنگس لیونگ تھنگس آر animals, humans and plants and uh, we have categorized them as living things based on seven life processes on which we decide that something is living or non-living. These are need air to breathe, need water and food, can move, have senses which means respond to change, can produce young, grow and produce waste that is excrete. These are the life processes. Now uh, if we talk about animals and humans, the, for, the life processes are quite easy to witness, all of the life processes. But some of the life processes are hard to witness in plant. like movement, senses, breathing, nutrition and excretion. Uh, we cannot see them, we cannot see them move, we cannot see them uh, breathing. So some students might think that plants are non-living. So let's discuss it in detail that how they can breathe, they can move or they have senses. Uh, but there are some life processes that are easy to uh, but there are some life processes that we can see in plants easily that is they can grow and they can produce young which is in the form of seeds okay now let's discuss each of the process life process these life processes in detail about plants okay the first is nutrition nutrition we have talked about nutrition in uh, all the living things earlier let's recap it we know that plants make their own food with the help of sunlight air water and nutrients you we, plants get water from the soil and they get light from sun and their leaves make food for the plant for the whole plant and they take in oxygen Uh, the air they take in carbon dioxide and they take out oxygen that is the food making process in a plant okay now plant it is actually leaf that is cooking food for the plant but we cannot see it but it's going on now second most important things about plant is excretion and breathing excrete and breathe in the process of making food we learn that plants take in carbon dioxide plants leaves are taking in carbon dioxide and they release oxygen as a waste product so this is plants excretion and breathing this is plants excretion and breathing with the process of food making they plants are breathing and uh, producing waste at the same time observe breathing in plants with this home activity uh, for this you need shallow glass bowl fresh leaves actually removed from a tree lukewarm water and magnifying glass that is optional let's watch the demonstration how to do it For this experiment you need to cut fresh leaves from a plant and you can use different different kinds of leaves. Now you can see I have cut four different kinds of leaves from a plant. Now you what will you do? You will place it them in a shallow glass dish. You uh, place them upside down and then add some lukewarm water. enough water that all the leaves submerged in it and then place this dish in sunlight direct sunlight for 2 to 3 hours then you can witness 
the breathing in plants okay that's the method you have just seen a video you can do this this experiment at home as well cut a green leaf of the plant then add lukewarm water to a shallow glass container place it in single layers and then place the bowl in sun wait for 2 to 3 hours and you can watch little air bubbles from the top of the leaves so this is the plants placed in a dish and then later on you can see notice small bubbles like this in a leaf that is that how you can uh, witness breathing in plants so having done that okay after that uh, let's talk about that plants have senses means they respond to change some plants can actually detect when they are being touched or they respond to touch quite quickly as you can see in the small videos below and movement this is our main focus plants move slightly towards the light this is also written on your learner's book page number 30 we have talked earlier we have discussed earlier that sunflower young sunflower plants track the sun from east to west as we know that sun travels from east to west during the day and sunflower follows the sun so, uh, the plants can spread across areas as their roots and stem grow as you can see a growing plant their roots and stem are growing and spreading this is movement in plants okay their seeds can also move have you ever seen a plant in cracks of walls have you ever wondered how seeds get there seeds also move but there are they do not travel with vehicle or cars uh, they have special procedure like some seeds drop out of a flower onto the ground they just drop from the flower then some seeds travel by wind some seeds float in water to get on land and some seeds spread when they are carried by animals or insects now let's look at assignment your assignment is activity book page number 19 we did it in zoom session those who have missed zoom session i'm discussing it with you for the students who missed the zoom session here you can read the text you in this exercise you will look at different ways in which seeds can move flowers move when they turn their face to sun or close at night we have discussed it earlier in the lesson and many plants make seeds which can move long way look at these seeds write or draw about how they are moving now you can see four different ways of pea seed spreading they are first one is they just drop from a plant or they spin with the air from the plant second was blown up by the wind we, ha we have seen some of these kind of uh, seeds in our home as well a small hairy seed flying in our home if you have ever seen that and seeds float in water and some seeds are eaten by animals and then excreted somewhere else hope you have understood your homework and understood the topic as well thanks for watching allah hafiz